What's going on guys? I am Pryoxis and I am back with another video and in this we're here we're going to be reviewing Esports Boxing Club Fighter Announcement Show and this is episode one, all right? So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into it, man. I'm going to give you guys like live reactions and I'm also going to do like a review at the end and give my honest opinion. So before we jump into it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't forget guys, turn on the post notifications. You don't want to miss a stream, you don't want to miss an upload, man. Let's get it. Bright lights, big city. We are in Las Vegas, Nevada, the fight capital of the world. What better place to splash onto the scene? Esports Boxing Club, the brand new boxing video game launching later this year. We are at the Venom World Headquarters. My name is Todd Grisham. Not only am I the voice of ESBC, I'm also the vice president of business acquisitions. I'm signing so many fighters, you won't believe it. We have over 100 fighters signed to ESBC as over a hundred fighters oh already as of now and we're adding new fighters each and every day we'll talk more about those fighters in a minute but right now why don't we focus on the game itself this is the first video game released on major consoles in the over graphics. 10 oh my, years the and graphics are will insane it deliver 8k camera scans the best graphic Y'all heard that? 8K camera scans. In fight game history, look at the footwork, look at the flow, look at the motion, look at some of these knockouts. This is unparalleled in the Ooh. history of fight sports <laughs> video games. <laughs> and how about the world's strongest man? He's a boxer now and will be in the game as Bro. well. Oh, no, no one's going to be able to hit. Bro, look at the graphics, guys. The graphics on this game is insane. The attention to detail, they even got the pimple on his forehead, bro. Harder than that guy. Much more coming next week on the ESBC game as we launch the first ever gameplay trailer for Esports Boxing Club on our social media. So the game looks cool, but you're wondering, which fighters do we have in the game? Well, I'm about to tell you. Here we go. One of the pound for pound best fighters in the world today. They call him Bud. They got you Terrence Crawford? In the next ESBC video game. Terrence Crawford, <sighs> pound for pound. He will deliver a beat Bud? Down coming up later hey, this year bro. on E. Okay, you got my attention. And a man that owns a part of the 168 Super Middleweight Championship. You Caleb see him Plant. on BBC. All right, let me move my camera because I see it's in the way. I just want to say this, guys. I am a newer person to boxing. I know some. I know some boxers. You know, mainly the ones that most people know. But these these other guys, I won't know, man. So y'all gonna have to bear with me as I learn this. And I just want to say, he born in Nashville, Tennessee. I like that respect. Nashville, stand up. Caleb Plant, who's hoping for a showdown later this year with Canelo Alvarez. And how about the clubhouse leader for the knockout of the year in 2021, Oscar Valdez Jr. I know Oscar what he Valdez. Did to Miguel Burchelt, a fantastic I know him. virtuoso performance. He's now a two division world champion. Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Oscar Valdez, Mexican fighter. And I'm very excited for this new opportunity. Yeah, to that, be part that, of this new that bling bling on. To ES Boxing Club. Everybody, tune in. It's going to be a great game. And now to one of the greatest boxers to Amir ever Khan. come out of the United Ooh. Kingdom. Unbelievable hand speed. Amir the former Khan. former champion and Olympic gold medalist, Amir Khan. I think speed is 100% something which everyone knows I've got, you know. And I think my speed is probably more than 100% if you think about it. Because, you know, I throw punches that people don't see. I throw punches that no one's ever seen the speed of. So, you know, when it comes to speed, I don't think that there's ever been anyone as quick as me. So I'm quite lucky to have that attribute. I don't know, know about that, bro. Speed, but then I've got the movement, you know, I've got the speed, uh, stamina as well, which has to go with it because, you know, there's some fighters who will be quick in the first round. By the time the 10th for the 11th for the 12th round, they still slow down. But one thing about me, the speed's always there, you know. So, you know, it's, uh, there's good and bads. Um, uh, but one thing I know what is good on my side is the speed. I don't think no one beats that. And how about this for timing? Coming up later tonight, live on DAZN, Virgil Ortiz Jr. with the biggest fight of his young career as he takes on Maurice Hooker and the hard-hitting Texan. Virgil Ortiz Jr. is in ESBC. 
How about the former undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world? Is that who Alexander I think it is? Alexander Usyk. Ooh. He's soon to be perhaps the number one contender for the heavyweight championship oh, of the world. Oh, snap. <laughs> either Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua. Oh, man. Let's keep it in Eastern Europe. How about Alexander Povetkin, the man who knocked out Dillian White him. last year? In fact, it was the 2020 knockout of the year. Can he do it again? The rematch is coming up in a few weeks. Alexander Povetkin in Esports Boxing Club. Staying in the heavyweight division, how about English heavyweight Joe Joyce? His future is bright. It's sky high. He needs to work on those defensive skills, but he's got the powerful punch in Esports Boxing Club. And y'all must have forgot. Roy Jones? Roy Jones Jr. Ooh. is back, baby. Y'all must have forgot. Heavyweight champion in the history of boxing. Former heavyweight Let's champion. Let's go. That's my Corey favorite boxer, Jones man. Junior, RJJ. I like that. You know I like that. And let's have a little fun. Who could forget Butterbean? The great <laughs> Butterbean is an ESBC. Can't wait to see how his character turns out. This guy may be one Butter of the best punchers we've got. Hey, we're just getting started here. I want to thank you for joining us on our ESBC Fighter Release Show. And speaking of show, how about Showtime? Sean Porter, the announcer for PBC, for NBC. They got you Sean know, Porter in it too? Bro, they are the dropping Sean, names, bro. We've all been waiting on the boxing game for at least a decade now. It's finally here. You got legends, former champions, current world champions. Anybody you want on the game, anything you can want, you can make right here on this video game. Make it, I'm excited that ESBC is bringing it to you guys really, really soon. Don't miss it. Have fun. All right, thanks, Sean. Ordered. Another champion we have signed to ESBC is Josh Taylor from the United Kingdom, the super lightweight who fights Jose Ramirez in just a couple of weeks. We followed him recently as he went to the United Kingdom to be scanned into the first boxing video game in a decade. Graphics are insane on this game. Never once thought I would be in a game ever, you know. So it's uh, it's good. It's definitely one for the grandkids and stuff to say. Like your old granddad was in a game and busting people up. So I, it's, uh, it's <laughs> going to be quite cool. It's good to be a part of it. There's not been one a boxing game for a long time now, so it's uh, it's good to be a part of one and. Uh, be in it so yeah it's, uh, it's cool it's yeah. cool definitely get a copy and want to keep yeah the cameras man the graphics like all them cameras that's crazy hopefully they make it nice and handsome <laughs> <laughs> i think you know it's just it's another sort of a wee they got the mark name, on his nose you know, right sort of here thing too. when you're retired boxing and things you've left your name on the mark and you're yet this opportunity to be in a, in a video game which uh, not a lot of people get to do so it's a great honor to be involved in it and uh yeah, I can't wait to see the finished article. I think I would like it to be uh, realistic, yeah, and um, <laughs> yeah, like but it is. <laughs> punches right. I think that's uh, the most important. I like what he just said. He said the most important is to get the movement right and the punches right. So he's already on the right track of getting the animations right. I like that. Part of thing for me, I've, from what I've seen, I don't think I've got any concerns of the of the visual sort of thing. I think that that's bang on from what I've seen. Everybody, all the other characters that they've done so far, look at uh, on point, brilliant. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be bang on. I have saw a couple of little bits of the the, the gameplay already, and uh, it looks it looks spot on. Get now. Off. That's the beauty of a game. You can go put yourself against it's a 360 uh, controller. Uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Ricky Hatton. Well, I'm in there, so that's the most important one for me. <laughs> all right, let's keep rolling on. And how about Regis Progre? He knows Josh Taylor all too well. They battled it out in an epic fight of the year contender. Regis Progre, super excited to be in ESBC. And how about Dave Rosado with all those tattoos? He's got such a unique look. And of course, he's Some a tats, movie star boy. having been in the movie Creed. He will be a great addition to ESBC. And how about my good friend, Chris Algieri, who made me promise to say that he will be the most attractive looking fighter in the game. <laughs> Do with that information what you will. But he is, of course, the former junior welterweight champion of the world. And now to the two-time middleweight world champion, 
Daniel, Daniel Jacobs. Jacobs? Not only is he one of the world's great fighters, his story is certainly one of the greatest in boxing history. Let's hear more from the Miracle Man. Uh, it is even a miracle for me to even be alive and to still be doing what I love, which is the sport of boxing. Obviously, me surviving cancer, uh, me being paralyzed and having a second mm. chance at life. And Respect. Respect and all glory to God, respectfully, bro. To survive cancer, paralyzed, and to come back and be living the way he's living, it's a blessing. Respect, bro. Being able to come back and be on a video game, I think that's very inspiring and should be supported. So all the fans out there, I appreciate your support, but play with the Miracle Man because miracles happen. How can you not love and respect the respect. Miracle Man? Daniel Jacobs. Now, just last weekend, I was fortunate enough to be able to call perhaps the 2021 fight of the year. Chocolatito versus Juan Francisco Estrada. That's right. El Gallo from Mexico and Chocolatito from Nicaragua. They combined to throw over 2,000 punches and you can relive the fight mm. or have their trilogy right here on eSports Boxing Game. Chocolatito, talk to me. Hey, I like my man passion respectfully. You see me all into it. You see, look at his neck. If you see his neck, to my talking his neck, do this, they into it. Super feliz, muy contento de pertenecer y es DC al juego de boxeo. Ya saben que si me escogen, van a ganar. Y si Pick van me? contra mí, lo voy a hacer que You go against me, you lose. <laughs> Chocolatito González. Again, we are here in the fight capital of the world in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the Venom World Training Headquarters, and perhaps their number one boxing signing is Jorge Linares. You can see him over my shoulder. The former three-time, three-division world champion also speaks three Pretty languages. Pretty sure I know this guy. His native Spanish from Venezuela, English, and Japanese. Mm. Mina Concha, Jorge Linares this. Young guy, the world champion. And here he is in studio, Sergio Mora. I care about him. I worry about him. I drag him around from city to city. Thank you for being in Las Vegas, my friend. Hey, look, I'm excited to be here. When you first told me about this, I thought, listen, man, this is going to be your fire festival. You're the white job rule. <laughs> but I got to see the graphics. I got to see the people that are involved, the fighters, the movement. You know I care about movement. That's what sold me into it. So listen, once I saw the names, once I saw the legends, I said, bring it on. I mean, look at the names you have, Todd. Jack you got the Dempsey, greatest Ch fighter that ever Jack lived. Johnson, Sugar Ray Robinson, Joe Rocky Lewis. Marciano, the Browns bomber, Joe Lewis, Jack Dempsey, Ooh. the first Black heavyweight champion Jack Johnson. The list goes on. But Todd, you haven't talked about the biggest name of them all, the greatest of all time, the legend himself. Bigger than Sugar Ray Robinson. Bigger. Who is it? You're looking at him. <laughs> There's only one Sergio Mora. We've got more legends. Who's up next? Yes, the Mexican legend himself. Okay, Juan I know Marquez. Well, Marquez, the man okay, that has I know Marquez. the most iconic knockouts of all time. Pretty sure you beat Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao who there you go. Four times. Yeah. Welcome to ESBC. Hi, everyone. My name is Juan Manuel Marquez, and I feel very excited. <laughs> My dude look like a Mexican cartel. He look like he don't touch no work, but he got mad soldiers right now, bro. <laughs> excited and I'm proud to be part of this ESBC great boxing video game. See you soon. How about Tim Bradley Jr.? He had a Tim war Bradley. with Juan Manuel Marquez okay. as well. He's had so many fantastic wars. Tim Bradley Jr., as tough as they come. You see him on ESPN Boxing Broadcast. You will now see him on eSports Boxing Club. Staying with the Legends theme, how about Ricky Hatton? There's only one Ricky Hatton. I know Ricky. Straight out of the UK. Welcome to eSports Boxing Club. So we've talked about the Legends. We've talked about some of the current champions. But how about some of the future stars? We've got them, including the knockout machine himself, Edgar Berlanga. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Evie, the chosen one, AK the monster. And I just want to fuck all my fans around the world. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I, I just signed to the biggest boxing video game in boxing history, ESBC Boxing. Listen, download me. The monster, 16 and over, 16 knockouts, all in the first round. My rankings better be high. I want everything to be at 100. My speed, my power. 
I wanted to let him get done talking right there, bro. It says hometown New York, and you can hear all, every bit of New York in his tone, in his voice, in his whole persona. You can hear it, man. <laughs> the agility, the foot movement, the endurance, you know, it's going to be something special, man. You know, and uh, I just need everybody to download this video game, man. It's going to be on all platforms, you know. Shout out to, once again, ESBC Boxing, esportsboxingclub.com. For all info you could get for the video game. Download it. It should be out very soon, man. I'm very excited for all my fans around the world. I love you guys. And download me. E be the chosen one, AK the monster, baby. Let's get it. Can he yeah. keep that knockout streak alive? Yeah. Edgar Berlanga fighting again on April 24th on ESPN. And you can catch him later this year on Esports Boxing Club. Another young gun fighting out of Mexico. 36 Coming out and of nowhere to win the junior. He from Tijuana. Championship of the world. Jaime Munguia with that high knockout ratio. He'll be a super fun character in ESBC. From Mexico to China, Zhu Khan has captivated that country's attention and he'll do so in ESBC as well. This is one of the great young fighters in all the world today. Can't wait to see his character on the new video game. Will you have what it takes to win a world championship? I As will. you know, the green belt is the most famous boxing championship belt the world has ever seen. Hey, what's up? My name is Mauricio Sulaiman. I am the president of the WBC, the green belt, and I am so excited to be part of the ESBC boxing game. It's coming up. You've been waiting for a long time, and I'm sure that you're going to enjoy it very much. I cannot wait to have great interaction, and I see you competing for the green and gold. Take care, enjoy, and I hope to see you soon in the ESBC boxing game. You'll have the chance to win the WBC title on Esports Boxing Club. That's interesting. Well, that'll do it for our first ever ESBC fighter release show. But don't worry, we'll be back in two weeks with a whole new slate of fighters that we've signed to the game. And trust me on this one, some big names will be announced. Also in two weeks, we'll update you on our female fighter roster, which is growing day by day. We'll also tell you about the trainers we've signed and the cut men we've signed. This Damn. game is all immersive in boxing. You create a character, you sign a trainer, you sign a cut man, and you go and try and win the WBC championship of the world. Thanks for joining me. My name is Todd Grisham. We'll see you in a couple weeks. And don't forget, on the ESBC Game Instagram page, next week we will be launching the first ever gameplay trailer. Keep a lookout for that. Okay, I'm on the Todd Instagram Grisham, page. And I'll see you next time. And hey, by the way, we've already signed so many fighters. How about Kelly Pav? I just want to say, I'm going to give you all my honest opinion. Watch out. This, this has potential. They, they said some big names. And, uh, you know, it's got some potential, bro. And you can see that they really want to make a good boxing game. I can see that. Now, if I was to say the things are, that I, I'm more so concerned about is going to be the animations. But how can you be concerned about animations when they're bringing in so many boxers? that are, are they, they can easily clean up those animations with these boxers. With the footwork, the movement, the hand, all of that. Head movement. They can clean that up easy with all these boxers that they're bringing in. World-class boxers, champions, multi-time champions, man. I, whoo, all I'm going to say is this game is, is, it looks promising. That's what I'm going to say. It looks good. You know, this is episode one, though. If you guys did enjoy this one, though, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if y'all are new. And don't forget, turn on post notifications, guys. You don't want to miss a stream, and you don't want to miss an upload. I'm excited for this, man. Episode two, whenever they drop it. How about Michael?